All right, we got consomme, so we have um, all of our ingredients together first, and everything is cold. So we have uh, one pound of ground beef, fresh ground beef. Um, that's very lean, no fat. Uh, we have our randomly cut vegetables, so it'll help form a better raft. Since we're doing um, beef stock today, um, you can also char your onions to get a better flavor and color in it as well, and put it in there. there. We have our cold stock. We try to remove as much fat as we possibly could. Um, we have our tomatoes for flavor and acid. We have our um, herbs and spices for flavor. And then we have our egg whites for our binder. We're going to start with our egg whites um, in the bowl. All right. I like to give them just a light whip. In my world, it makes me think that they're going to flow a little more in the liquid. I don't know if it actually does anything, but this is what I do. Okay, we're not trying to get soft peaks or anything. We're just trying to get a little bit of air in there. About that. Okay. Just wake them up a little bit. Okay. Then we add our uh, ground beef. Our vegetables. This is the fun part. This is the fun part. Then we add our tomatoes and our spices, and I also crush up the bay leaves. So, this is okay. And then we're just making uh, basically a really junky looking meatloaf. Okay. Um, we want to make sure we break up that meat really well and get everything incorporated as best we can. Okay. Um, and then before we do that, I like to season it. Um, if somebody can pour me off some salt into their hand, that'd be good. Um, I season it pretty heavy so I don't have to season it afterwards. Um, okay, add that. Do like two more of that. Maybe three. One more. Alright. It's going to give it some really good flavor. Um, so that way you don't have to season it afterwards. Alright, so it doesn't look like anything right now, right? It just looks like a big mess. Um, just make sure there's no big pieces of meat in there. As well. Okay. And then from here, I'm going to take our nice looking raft. And we're going to add it to our cold stock. Just like so. All right, it's really appealing. And we turn it on our burner, and we're just gonna be stirring it until it comes up to temperature. And about 130 degrees or so is when the egg whites will start to coagulate and start forming a raft. Um, so make sure you have your thermometer on hand, and you wanna stir it up to that point so that nothing sticks to the bottom of the pot as well. This could take um, up, to, up to 10, 15, 20 minutes depending on the size of your pot as well. So don't be very patient. Temperature control is something that's very important on consomme to keep it uh, very clear. Okay, so this is what it should look like cold and then we'll catch back up once the raft starts to form. Alright, we're at about 125 to 130 degrees. Um, as you can see, the raft is starting to form. Um, the beef is starting to cook, the egg whites are starting to coagulate, and it's starting to get this shiny foam on the top. Um, and just by the stirring process, you can see it's already started to clarify it quite a bit. Oh, um, yeah. The egg whites will go around when you're stirring and collect up any particles and suspend them in the, uh, in the wraps. Alright, so this is about as much as I want to stir now. And all I'm going to do from here is monitor my heat and just kind of stir from the top in to let any other particles come up through the top. But really from here on out, I'm not stirring it anymore. I'm keeping the table still or the stove still, and I'm letting um, the raft just naturally form at this point. Um, 
This is the raft that has formed after about uh, 15 minutes or so. And you can see it's basically a solid mass in the middle. Um, and the stock is starting to come up through the sides and even in the middle and it's going to start that clarification process. If you look at the edge, you can see how it's even clarified even more just in that uh, short amount of time. So if you feel like the raft is too solid and you don't see any bubbles coming up through the middle, you can take your thermometer and just poke some kind of like feeder holes in there so it will come up through. Other than that, this one looks fine because it's, it's boiling up and then the stock is trickling back down through the meat. Um, from here on out, it's an hour and a half and you want to adjust your temperature to make sure it stays at a, a simmer, not a boil. Um, and then we'll catch up with you at the uh, straining. This is our finished consomme. Um, the raft has settled in a little bit. It's been about an hour and a half. And as you can see, um, it's about as clear all the way through to the bottom of the ladle. Um, normally, in a commercial setting, we could actually siphon it off into another container in a large 5-10 gallon volume. But since it's so little, we're going to strain it gently into a uh, chinois with a uh, coffee filter to get any fine particles out and into the bottom. So I'm gently going to put this down the side here. It's got a nice rich color to it. Okay, Right into the coffee filter and out through the bottom. Okay, we'll do a couple more. Take a look at it. All right, it's very clear. This is a very well-made consomme. Um, has a great aroma to it. Okay, so we'll stop there and we'll give it a taste. Okay. It's got a nice golden hue to it. It's crystal clear. Um, and it's got great flavor and body uh, from all of the vegetables and the beef in the stock. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and finish the rest of it off. Um, some people like to chill it all the way down to cold, and then that way they can skim the solid fat pieces off the top. If you're gonna serve it hot right away, you may need to take a coffee filter to, to dap the fat off of the top. Other than that, it's about ready to go.